Okay, so so the myth for you is is Canadian occupations related to STEM and healthcare only? Not at all. In fact, as a matter of fact, all the occupations can apply, and those who are not falling in STEM or healthcare, they can qualify and be eligible under provincial nomination programs, Canadian startup visa, and entrepreneur PR visa programs. Okay, so the myth for you is can a senior management apply for a PR visa? Yes, and why just only a senior management professional? Someone in a mid management capacity can also apply under startup visa program. A, you can have your own project and you can become part of that startup, or you can be part of someone's project. Basis two credentials: one, your skill set, and B, is your capacity to invest in that project. And obviously, you will be taking formally an equity in the project. Yes, is immigration process costly, and can a salaried person afford it? The cost of immigration depend on the path you are choosing. However, you need INR 10 to 15 lakhs to support your stay in the chosen country. With proper planning and budgeting, any salaried person can afford immigration. Hi, Seema. Hi. Okay, so the myth for you is: Do students have better opportunities abroad or the skilled workers? It is a myth that students have better opportunities abroad than the skilled workers because both have better opportunities available in developed countries. Like student can access to internships, scholarships, and they also have postgraduate work permits. Wherein uh, the skilled workers they have options available as job seeker visas, skilled worker visas, and they also have employment support agencies. To conclude, both these students and skilled workers have good uh, and equal opportunities available abroad.